Coating your own indicators. We start with the help content. Ami Broker help content is the most powerful resource you will ever find. If you are aware of the basic programming concept, then there cannot be anything as useful as Ami Broker help manual. We will start with the most basic technical concept, which is the moving average. I am searching for moving average here to use it for strategies. It shows me the function which calculates the moving average. Look at the syntax. The syntax says MA array comma period. This means the main function has two arguments. The first is the array on which the moving average will be calculated. The array could be open, high, low, close or any other indicator value. The second argument is a period which is the number of candles on which moving average will be calculated. You can pass any array such as the closing array, open array, high price, low price or even an indicator output as an array on which the moving average will be calculated. I will explain this with an example. Suppose we are working on 5 minute interval data. The closing price of each 5 minute interval will form an array which can be input as the first argument of this function. Similarly, if you want to calculate the moving average of highs, then pass the high array as an argument. If you want to calculate the moving average of RSI, you will pass the RSI as an array. We will try to code this now. I will first drop the default chart. Next, I am editing the code to calculate moving average of 20 periods on the closing price. This function returns the value of moving average, which I am putting into another array variable for easy reference as I am writing here MAC equals to MA of close to MA of close comma 20. To plot this array, I use plot function. As I type, ME Broker automatically suggests me the syntax of the function. I will mention the array to be plotted on the chart, second, name which will be displayed on the chart, third, color of the plot, and finally, the style in which the moving average will be plotted. Now I save this chart and immediately I can see the moving average being plotted on the chart. This is the most basic and most common indicators you can start working with. This complete a first indicator. You can also go through the resource and complete tutorials to familiarize yourself more with AFL editor. Just like we have calculated the moving average of close, I will show you how to calculate the moving average of highs and lows. I will just edit the existing code. Instead of close, I specify high and create a similar variable. Change the color and plot it again. Also, let me show you how to plot the moving average of candle lows. Look at this chart. We have plotted the three moving averages of the close, high and low. I can save this file on the desktop for easy reference in the future. Also note, I can open and read any AFL code in the notepad also. Now let me show you yet another example. I will show you how to plot the highest high of last 20 candles and the lowest low of the last 20 candles. To easily calculate the highest and lowest low, we will use inbuilt functions of mbroker. I will search in the AFL help manual for relevant functions. It shows me that HHV could be a useful function. I can see the syntax of this function. The description says this function will solve a problem to calculate the highest high of 20 candles. Similar to the HHV, 
when i search for lowest low it shows me the llv function we will now try using the hhv and llv in the same fashion like we have used the moving averages i will use the code of existing afl to create new formula for calculating range high and range low i will also create a new afl and save it for easy reference instead of ma replace hhv and lv save the afl file and apply it on the chart here you see we are done with calculating the range of last 20 candles this is a very This is a very practical and very common example. With this, we complete the first coding tutorial. I request you to go through the resources and practice coding some simple indicators on your own.